Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today as you can see I'm coming to you from the Kavalan distillery. I am in Taiwan which is literally for me the other side of the world and today I would like to try a Kavalan whiskey. They have several but let me first tell you a little bit about the distillery. It was built in 2005 so it's a rather recent distillery and they get their copper pot stills from Scotland but they also have installed Holstein um, uh, column stills as well so they can produce a whole panoply of different uh, whiskey styles including uh, malts of course and I'm sure you've heard of the Cavalan whiskey because they've already won numerous international prizes. Did you know by the way that Cavalan is actually uh, the old name of the indigenous people who lived here from the uh, Polynesians? Uh, it actually is derived from their name which means the people from the plain. But back to the distillery, Cavalan uh, has a whole range of whiskies you might be aware of the uh, the classic, and then you also have the uh, the Conchot Martins Master, which are the two entry level whiskies. But they also have this Solist range, which are single casks, and in that range they have the uh, sherry cask matured, they have bourbon cask matured, uh, different kinds of sherry casks, some Montillard or Fino, whatever. There's even a Pitti cask, and then there's also this one, the Vinho Baric. Vinho Baric is a wine cask from Portugal, and it is bottled at a cask strength. Now this one was uh, distilled in 2009 and was bottled well. This is Taiwan and Taiwan has a very hot and humid climate which means that the whiskey doesn't mature as long because the angel share here is enormous. So they lose a lot more than Scotland's 2%. They lose about 15%. So here we have a, a young Kavalan whiskey at 56.9 if I'm not mistaken. 56.9% ABV. Beautiful bronze color deep bronze and that's of course from the Portuguese wine cask. So the Cavalan Vinho Baric at 56.9% ABV on the nose. Well, I get some tropical candied fruit. There's some melon in there, some caramelized uh, oranges, some banana and maybe even some kumquat. Oh, there's some oriental spices in there and that's not because I'm in the Far East, it's just in the nose of this beautiful single malt. Right, on the palate then. It has a very sturdy arrival, which should not come as a surprise because of the high ABV. And while the wine is there, it's very well integrated, so it's not disturbing at all. This is a very tropical, oriental, spicy, hot, but beautifully integrated Kavala single malt. On the finish then. The finish is very long, very spicy, and very satisfying. Wow, what a beautiful malt indeed. Those of you who are malt aficionados, you probably have a whole range of Scotch whiskies that you really like. But if you get the chance, try a Kavalan, because here in Taiwan, they really do know how to make whiskey. And as you can see, there was a lot of people here. Uh, Kavalan has one million visitors per year, which is 10 times what Glenfiddich gets. That was, that's pretty amazing. They get times, 10 times the number of visitors than Glenfiddich does, and Glenfiddich is the most popular in Scotland. How amazing. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you soon at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings here from Kavalan. May the malt be with you.